unexpected or unaware, my name is Tracy Rickard. I'm the owner of Tracy's Total Wellness, and I'm on a mission to empower people to feel safe in their environments to fully self-express unapologetically. I do this through many of my live events. Um, some of you have been to my retreats, or some of you out there maybe have done my fun yoga events and networking, as well as some of this deeper work. Um, in the world of essential oils I use, in my events, as well as I use in my deeply therapeutic energy work and body work. On top of that, my health and life coaching. And now currently with everything going on, I've been utilizing the power of oils for energy clearing, as well as helping my clients that I am working with virtually in my virtual wellness. So today I wanted to go over a few things about how to use essential oils to clear. I've had so many clients come to me and ask me, Tracy, I have no idea what essential oils for clearing actually does. So I wanted to come in and give you kind of a basic rundown of essential oils for clearing. What I would love for any of you out there, if you have any comments, if you wanna share, please feel free to comment away. This could be, all right, I have this specific situation going on, what oils do I use for that? So this can be interactive if you would like, as well as if there's specific oils throughout this live that I'm offering that you're really digging, give me the thumbs up or give me the like or love because that helps me to know what topics or what specific oils you'll really are interested in learning more about. Now I'm going to be taking the world of oils into a different approach than you might have seen before. There's many approaches that we can utilize and if you're not aware, my clients have coined me Lucille Ball meets the Dalai Lama. So I Lucy Lamify everything in a way that can help anybody out there, whether you're very clinical or you're focusing in an analytical way, or if you're a little more spiritual and you're focusing in more of an energetic way, how can these specific oils, essential oils, be utilized for all of you? So that's what we're gonna go into today. Now again, any questions, don't hesitate to ask. But let's get started in the world of essential oils for clearing energy. Now, for those of you out there that aren't aware, there's energy everywhere. There's energy being emitted to me right now through these devices, as well as energy being emitted out to you. What's happening currently, though, is we are behind devices a little bit more than normal, whether it's interacting like this, we're on the phone, we're watching TV, we are in relationship with energy in a different way. And I've been hearing from a lot of my clients recently that they're just feeling things a little bit more differently as well. And so I wanted to come in and share with you some specific oils that I have been using with my clients on energy clearing and how this is, this is why I love essential oils, how many therapeutic properties that this one essential oil can have. So I'm gonna start with you with the basic overall clearing essential oil. And that one is, everybody see it here, frankincense. Frankincense is, a, I like to say, the holiest of holy essential oils. And it is a wonderful overall clearer. Now when I'm working in person with clients, um, as well as I have one here, um, sometimes I smudge, meaning I burn sage or um, I burn Palo Santo. Um, we're gonna have a little bit more information about those in an upcoming challenge. So you might wanna check that out um, in the information so that you can learn how to use smudging in different ways. Today, we're gonna go over how to create a smudge blend with essential oils. So the sacred world of essential oils can be created into a smudge blend. And that's what we're gonna go over today. So I'm gonna start with the overall one that I just mentioned, which is frankincense. Now what I do is I have a glass bottle here, and this is what I create as my smudge spray. Great thing about this is it's always handy and I can literally clear my space, smudge my space. A lot quicker to use than having to burn something. And when I'm in a hurry, or I have a lot of things going on that day, knowing that I can at least get some of that energy cleared before my next session or before the next thing that I'm doing, my next task, I know that I have that handy. So an overall wonderful oil to use for that is frankincense. It's good old fashioned, wonderful overall oil to clear. 
Now there are specific energies that I have been noticing coming up for people recently that I wanted to go over some other essential oils that I think could be really helpful. So a lot of people are feeling like they're just down a little bit more. There's a heavier energy happening. And so I wanted to go over a few of those essential oils as well. Now my favorite go-to for that is lavender. So lavender can help soothe some of that lower vibrational energy that you might be feeling. The energy of sadness or grief or just feeling the collective sadness of people that maybe right now currently have been out of work or people that have lost loved ones. There's, there can be some emotions right now that are a little heavy and utilizing lavender as a clearing oil can be beneficial. So I'm gonna go through the basics of these and then actually how to use them in different forms. So I just showed you the smudge spray. Now I'm gonna show you after how you could put things into a smudge spray, how to use them topically as well. Another oil for the anxious feelings that we might be having right now, citruses are really wonderful for this, but I have found grapefruit to be one of my favorite go-to oils to help with that ah, that anxious kind of overwhelming energy that is happening right now. And grapefruit is a really great oil, especially because it's in the citrus family, to kind of really help you with the, the anxiety that's happening. Another favorite for people is wild orange which is another one that people really do love, but I wanted to highlight grapefruit today. Again, orange is another option as well. So if you're somebody that has been feeling some of that negative juju, as some people call it, and neg negative energy, cypress is one of the best oils to help with that. What cypress actually does is it's that, you know that lower vibrational energy, kind of like that, you know, the cesspool energy, if people want to call it that. Cypress is really wonderful to help clear that um, energy out. It's, it's a great oil, um, and I'm going to share with you in a minute the therapeutic benefits of it. Remember, be interactive here. If any of you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. All right, that's the one I want to move to next. All right, so bergamot. I utilize bergamot a lot in my practice, um, especially when I am in retreats. So when I'm doing my retreats, even virtually now, bergamot is one of my go-tos. Now, I primarily work with women. Bergamot is a very feminine oil, um, and it is energetically, it helps protect your solar plexus, which is your sense of self. So bergamot is an oil to help you with anything where you're feeling blocked with your own self-esteem. Anything that's making you feel bad about yourself or question your own worth, bergamot can clear that energy. All right, we wanna dive deeper into um, what I like to call the energy sucker oil. And this is my, by far, number one go-to oil when I'm working on my massage clients, um, whether I'm in person with them or we're doing virtual sessions. And that, my friends, is lemongrass. Lemongrass is what I like to call the machete, <laughs> the energetic machete of essential oils. It can just clear, it, it, it severs what doesn't serve you, it clears. Um, when I'm doing a lot of the grief recovery and the wound healing work um, in the physical tissue as well as the energetic fields of my clients, lemongrass is my go-to. It really just slices right through what doesn't serve you and it can really help you to detach from those cords. I like to call it the energy vampire, the energy sucker oil is we're sometimes unaware of how many people out there that are at those lower vibrations that are giving into the fear, giving into the, that dark heaviness that for them to thrive, they need to figure out a way to suck energy in. And one of the ways they do it is people that are shining their light a little bit more, people that are a little bit, you know, not aware of what's going on, energy suckers can, can really rob us of our energy. Now, a lot of these energy suckers and energy vampires out here are not aware of what they're doing. It's just their subconscious level is struggling right now. It needs to be fed and it needs to find somewhere to be fed. And unfortunately, sometimes that could be you or I. So having these oils here, it can be really beneficial to clear. Now, a great way is utilizing all these oils and then putting it in a, a little bottle. Now, with essential oils, I like to use glass because they're 100% therapeutic and they can wear away plastic. Now, the brand that I showed you today was doTERRA. It's one of my favorites. There are other essential oil brands out there that are highly therapeutic. This was just the one when I was introduced to it. I got those goosies. 
I got that like internal nudge that these were the oils I was meant to use. Um, they just have a wonderful mission and I love the therapeutic grade quality of them as well. So you would put them in distilled water in a bottle like this. And depending on how big the bottle, you can do two to three drops of each oil and you have yourself a smudge blend. Now what I like to tell people, especially for the citrus one, is citrus makes you more susceptible to the sun. Um, it makes you more susceptible to those UV rays. So it could potentially make your skin burn. So I, I do like to tell people, um, and especially when I'm working on my massage clients, I'm rubbing essential oils into their skin. I always ask them if they're going to go out in the sun later. Usually it could be four to six hours afterwards. Now this is only in a little spray bottle, smudging and clearing. But if you want to be just hyper vigilant, I'm somebody that's very sensitive to the sun. I don't apply citrus um, anywhere in my body if I know I'm going out in the sun that day. So when I would clear with my blend, I just clear the energy around me. You're still clearing all of that energy attached to you. I also myself just have a pure frankincense one. So I have a pure spray bottle that just has frankincense in it. And my intention is that this smudge bottle is going to right overall clear what's necessary. So I'm going to show you now how to use these topically. Now a great space to use frankincense and when you use an essential oil, especially if they're there, you're, they're yours, you just put your hand on, place the hand down. Great place for frankincense, I put it right here on my brain stem. I want to help my nervous system and then I actually put it right on my sacrum and I just rub it there and I intend that I'm going to clear. The other place that I would put it is right here, which is the gateway, an energetic gateway, um, as well as the bottom of the foot. So that we're, we're getting all those spots. So in Chinese medicine, these are two really big spots. Um, when I work with my clients in helping them to get their meridians in alignment with acupressure, those are two spots that I focus. So I want to overall clear with frankincense in that way. Now I'm utilizing lavender, if you remember, lavender helps you to clear that, the heavier stuff, the depression, those, those lower emotions, those heavy emotions. So where I like to place lavender, if I'm needing it, is right here. I just rub lavender right on my heart. And sometimes I'll even comfort my own heart and hold my heart with my hand. That is my number one go-to place for lavender. It just helps to soothe um, those particular um, areas, and especially those heavier emotions tend to land right there. Now grapefruit I brought here for anxiety. So for grapefruit and how to utilize this with anxiety, anxiety that those emotions overwhelm, it tends to be everything's up, up, up. So what I love to do with my grapefruit, again, I'm going out in the sun, I don't tend to use citrus right on the skin, is I'll rub it in my hands and I'll actually massage my ears and then pull down. Pull down. And then I also, right here, my um, collarbones, if you see, I'll sometimes just rub the oil down. <sighs> Great way to utilize that essential oil. Now, cypress is for that lower vibrational energy where you're feeling like the fatigue energy. Cypress, um, the therapeutic quality of cypress, it actually, um, and it's something I use with my massage clients a lot, it helps increase blood circulation. Um, I use it with my clients in an awesome blend that I love, which is called Aroma Touch, and it actually has a ton of these oils in it, so I was going to share that at the end. So cypress, what I love to do with cypress to help with that low vibrational energy is I put a drop or two of cypress in lotion or oil, and then I literally massage it up towards the heart everything goes towards the heart and i massage it into my body towards the heart to help activate the energy and clear that lower vibrational energy bergamot was the one that i shared which is all about self-esteem and solar plexus i use bergamot every single day in my morning ritual and i dab it on my hand and your solar plexus is right here for women it's right where your your bra would end and I take that bergamot and I, I just rub it across my solar plexus in the front, across my solar plexus in the back. So I feel protected, almost got a band of bergamot. And I just say, I am protected. I am protected. Now what I tend to do also is just go up 
and I come down a little just so I know that my heart has also been protected. Bergamot is also a citrus um, blend, so I, I don't like to get it too far up on my neck if I'm gonna be going out in the sun. And then my favorite, favorite, again, one oil that I use every single day, lemongrass. And with lemongrass, what I, <laughs> I love to do with it is I just put it in my hands because it, right, it's gonna sever energy vampire stuff. So wherever I tend to have tightness or I feel that weakest spot, like so some people they were like, oh, I have a knot. I always have a knot right there. In the world of uh, tissue, so our physical tissue, our muscle tissue, it tends to hold our emotions that are associated with some kind of trauma, whether it's big trauma or small trauma, the tissue itself holds the emotions. The meaning that we make about that experience is up here, but the emotional stuff is all in this tissue. So I utilize lemongrass for my pain points. Now everybody's are gonna be different, but wherever I have those common spots, right, where I struggle with tension, I'm gonna put lavender there. More than likely energy vampires will, they will latch on to specific areas where your muscular tissue is a little weaker because it is easier for the energy to get on into those places. So I armor up with lemongrass. And again, I do the same thing I just said with bergamot, I am protected, I am protected. I also, in those moments, it's an opportunity to clear um, that space as well, clear it out of whatever's not serving. Now I myself, I rub it along those spots too where I rubbed bergamot because if there's anything going on with my self-esteem or my heart, my love, I wanna just sever and clear that too. So that is my go-to. Now lemongrass is not in the citrus family. So you don't have to worry about that one when you're out in the sun. Those are the particular oils that I use and how you can utilize them in a smudge spray. If any of you out there are interested in me creating a custom smudge spray for you, just comment below smudge spray or send me a message that you would like a smudge spray. I'm more than happy to just quickly hop on the phone with you and create a personalized smudge spray and send it to you, as well as share with you specific ways that I am serving my clients with energy clearing sessions, utilizing the power of their muscle tissue, their energy fields, Reiki energy, as well as essential oils and clearing, getting your own personal smudge spray sent to you so that you yourself know how to smudge and clear. Now I said I would mention one more oil that I love that I use in massage all the time and it's Roma Touch Blend. Now I use Aroma Touch a lot because it has a lot of these oils I just mentioned. It has every single oil that I mentioned in it except lemongrass and frankincense and bergamot. So it's got lavender, cypress, as well as the grapefruit. It's got peppermint and a few other wonderful oils in it. I sometimes love to just massage Aroma Touch all into my body and not utilize all these specific oils. Um, I do tend to just put a little lemongrass in that Aroma Touch because it's that energy clear for me. So that's just a blend if you were looking for something as well. Don't hesitate to ask any questions if you're interested. And Remember that the sacred world of essential oils can be utilized in many ways. I just showed you how the physical and the metaphysical can come together. And that's my main goal is to help people to see all the possibilities that are out there. Now, these are the sacred oils that I have chosen today for energy clearing. Hopefully you have found specific ways to feel a little bit more like yourself today.